I'm anxious for you to meet this special guest lecturer today. He's a man whom I promise you, students, you are never, ever going to forget. David Toma is a former boxing champ in the Marines, professional baseball player, and police officer. For 16 years, he fought the mob as a detective on the Vice Gambling and Narcotics Squad in Newark, New Jersey. Toma has been shot, stabbed, and hospitalized more than 30 times for every injury imaginable. And two television series have been based on him. Toma and Beretta. And now it is my pleasure to bring you not the actor, but the real man who has lived this incredible life, David Toma. you to listen to me very closely this morning. I just come back from a high school four days ago. Four kids are dead. They're dead in that high school. I would advise each and every one of you to listen to me this morning. When I'm done, I want you to walk out that door and do whatever you want with your life. It's your life. But before I start, I want you all to know I've been there. I played the game before all of you were born. I lost a five-year-old son right in my arms. He died. Because of it, I became a drug addict. I know what drugs are all about. I lived with it all of my life. And I'm gonna share it with you this morning. Listen closely. I wanna to talk to you about a subject the whole world is talking about. Everywhere I go, they're talking about it. And this many people understand it. A little thing called grass, reefer, Mary Jane, joint, stick, point, weed, marijuana, whatever you like to call it. I got kids every day tell me they can't think anymore. They're losing their memory. They're going numb. They can't feel certain parts of their body. Some of the things they're putting in grass will blow your mind. But I want to tell you a little story of a kid I had a little while back in Baltimore, Maryland. Young boy, 19 years of age, on the streets, completely naked. The cops pick him up, take him to headquarters. While they're in headquarters, they take the handcuffs off him, throw him in a cell. He's in a cell, he comes running at the policeman, he's hollering, I want to get out, I want to get out, I'll kill you. The cop walks away. A few minutes later, the captain on the desk says to the policeman, go find out why that kid is screaming, screaming at the top of his lungs. The cop goes back, and he said, Dave, I was sick. That boy was out on the streets before he got locked up, smoked the joint, somebody laced it with dust. When the cop got back to that cell, the kid had his right hands on the bars like this, shaking the bars like this, shaking them. And with his left hand, he took both his eyeballs right out. I happen to know the kid right now. He travels all over the country trying to help other kids. Why did it happen? Why that day? He'd been smoking pot for put this guy out of his time. misery. Why? You. You don't want to hear what I got to say? Get out, you punk. Get out. It, it, take it easy, man. Tell your parents I threw you out. Get out of here. All right, all right. Don't play with me. Don't play with your family. Some of you kids sitting here. That ain't funny. He needs help. I'm talking about drugs. He don't like what I'm talking about. You know he's doing drugs. He's got a problem. Yeah, Jimbo. Go Yeah, no, no problem. It was good. It's good stuff. Thanks. Um, I was calling because I think I'm going to take you up on the blow. Yeah. No, it's no problem. I can probably sell a few grams of school. Yeah. All right. Okay, same place? Cool. What time? Cool. I'll be there. Bye. 